Anderson School District 5 is spending about $7 million to expand its operations downtown and renovating its district offices to handle services more smoothly. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson shows us what it will mean for the community in the story you'll see only on 7. Well, Anderson School District 5 has purchased two old bank buildings here in the heart of downtown. Construction is underway for one building and they will soon demolish the other. A familiar name will soon be posted on two old buildings in the middle of the electric city. We have bought two buildings downtown. Um, the first building we will be moving into will house finance and the superintendent. And the second building will be an instructional services building. Anderson School District 5 has been in its current district office since the 60s. Since then, the district says as they've added more programs and people, it has outgrown that facility. The reason that some of the folks were moving downtown is that we want to be accessible here. So that's why human resources stay in here, student services, a lot of the divisions that have walk-in traffic. The old building will be more for parents who need assistance for their student, and the new downtown locations will be more for internal use and development. So I think their plan is to kind of enclose the, these old drive through areas. City leaders say the district's expansion is right in line with its vision to transform downtown. We have several buildings downtown, uh, these two uh, being, being two of, the, two of the, the most prominent, I'd say, uh, that, that need renovation, that need, need a little bit of love. We're shocking the block. And while the city says this move will help downtown, the district says this will help them streamline services at the soon to be renovated old district office. We hope that um, we'll, this will open up more opportunity for folks to know exactly where to go. Now, Anderson School District 5 says the renovations and additions to the first building here should be complete and ready for move-in by May of next year. In regards to that second building, they're still in the planning phases of that. They say that could be uh, six months to a year behind. In downtown Anderson, Asia Wilson, 7 News. District 5 leaders say the project, the, they will use money from the one cent sales tax passed back in 2014 for that project.